Welcome back. The high school soccer season is well underway for South Sioux City, but just 27 years ago, the decision made by one teacher would forever change the course of the school's athletics history. Our own Jason Toktasian brings us to the pitch for our newest sports spotlight. Marla Greer was a speech and pathology teacher at South Sioux City Middle and High School. It was during this time that the school was trying to figure out if the soccer program would continue. It got to be the first part of February and nobody was applying for the position. So they were going to give it one more week and then they would cancel everything. While the school was nearing a decision to discontinue the soccer program, Marla caught wind of the situation. I said, wait, 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 we can't, we can't cancel it. And they said, well, we don't have a coach. I said, okay, I'll do it. Marla was entering uncharted territory. She comes from a family heavily involved in athletics. However, Marla never coached soccer at any level. The boys team had a difficult first few years under Coach Greer until one play sparked a new mindset. We were playing a home game down at the river at the time. I on the sideline said to one of my coaches, we don't win this game or games like this, I'm done, this is it. One of my athletes went in the game and put the ball in the net from the 50 yard line and that was it. We won the game. <laughs> Coach Greer would also help establish South Sioux City Soccer Club after having a conversation with one of her ninth grade players. We will always suck if we don't play year round. And he was 100% right. So we started a club team. So then we started playing year round. Coach Greer would earn nine Nebraska state championship appearances during her 18 year tenure. But it didn't come without adversity for Coach Greer and her players. First year we went to state, we went on a wild card. They had grocery bags for their bags and they had their uniforms and we went and played our game and it was my husband, my best friend, and her husband were our only spectators. Nobody from the school was there to watch. After failing to reach the state championship game in 2000, Coach Greer would lead the South Sioux City boys team to its first state final in 2001. A lot of it was a mindset for them that we can do more. That championship loss in 2001 was a tough pill to swallow for the South Sioux boys team, but Coach Greer knew she was building towards something great. She cared for each one of the players she ever coached. Eric Galvin played on South Sioux City's varsity team between 2008 and 2012. He's now the head coach of South Sioux City's boys team and credits Marla for the coach he strives to be. There was times that I know some boys went without cleats and she would go out of her way to find a pair of cleats for the the boys or whoever needed it. During Galvin's time playing under Coach Greer, the boys team went to state twice, falling just short of clinching the school's first state title. I don't know what soccer would look like right now if there wasn't a Marla Greer in the community that took the stepping stones to make it an official club during the summer, which prepared the boys for the high school season. The wait to claim Nebraska soccer glory would end in 2013, but along the way, Coach Greer's team, made up of kids from immigrant families, would continue to face prejudice. We were at our district championship game in Columbus. I will never forget this. And my keeper came up to me and said, Marla, you need to know that that referee asked to check my gloves for knives before the game started. And I said, what? Why didn't you tell me this? We had to keep our focus. With a focused and determined group, Coach Greer led South Sioux City to its first ever state title. It was a sea of red in the crowd, and as soon as that final whistle, the crowd just erupted, and I myself felt joy watching my previous teammates win a state championship. They blew the whistle on that final game. I remember thinking, oh my God, we did it. This state championship would earn South Sioux City promotion to Class A for the 2014 season. We went to state and did well. That's how um, that season ended and um, we were all very positive for what would come in the future. After the 2014 season, Coach Greer would call it a career after 18 years as head coach. Greer would go on to coach teams at South Sioux City Soccer Club and be a board member for the club organization. One thing I kept trying to impress upon them is when you become parents, you need to be involved with your children. And they were listening. After Marla Greer left the head coaching role at South Sioux City, the boys soccer team earned their second state title in 2018 against Elkhorn South. Also tonight at 10, tune in to find out who our Sports Zone Boys Basketball Player of the Year is. But for now, that'll be all for sports.